Banjo, get up. Don't stand in front of the freaking cannon. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I was so close. <laughs> Okay, well at least now I know what I have to do. I was so close, I was like, counting down, he was standing right in front of it. Check, check, system. Checking battery. Yeah, I know, checking battery. Warning. I'm a robot, I have to talk really slow. Must talk slow. I am robot. My name is robot. all this stupid stuff again, yada yada. He's gonna hump the tyrant again. Oh yeah, it's so sexy. By the way, that missile has to be like the slowest moving missile on the planet. Okay, chill. Don't step in the freaking acid, man. much acid everywhere.
System overheating. Enter cooldown mode. Oh my god, seriously. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Alright, uh, let's try to exterminate the monster. Stars. I'll give you stars. Damn, Jill. You fucking crazy, girl. That's right. That's right. Fucking Jill Valentine's son. And the control panel, we upgrade it, yes. And I think we are at the end of the game. Woot! Woot woot! Chill! Over here! <laughs> Slow. Over here! Now, if I were to have jumped off the bridge set. before the factory, right, then, we're here. then it would be Barry, who was in the helicopter. Oh no! It's here! It's time to go! Pancake! Looks like a pancake. So... Our faithful heroes escape on a helicopter while the city gets turned into a giant pancake. That's it. I've had it. This time they've been too far. And of course the classic Resident Evil ending of This time we're going to take them out for good or whatever. They always say that at the end of every Resident Evil game, ever. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Backless Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. Damn, son. I wonder what kind of ranking I got. Just curious. I didn't use any save points or first aid sprays. Kind of cheated, but... Alright guys, well that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, let me see real quick. Okay, so I can't skip the, uh, can't skip the credits. <sighs> so, thanks for watching. Um, uh, my next Let's Play, I'm not sure about yet. I was originally going to do, I know I said I was going to do Metal Gear Solid 4, or Metal Gear Solid 2 after this, but I kind of really want to do, uh, Ocarina of Time, just Personally, I really wanted, I've really i been wanting to do it for a while, and I think I finally kind of have the time to do it. But I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to take like a week off from doing Let's Plays. Um, and then I'm going to start either Metal Gear Solid 2 or Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, we'll see when we get there. Um, make sure to rate, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Subscribe is the most important one. Subscribe. That way when I do new stuff, it'll be sent to you and you don't have to come looking for it or whatever. Oh, 
Oh god. <laughs> At least it hasn't been... That was weird. Anyway. I think I'm like running out of hard drive space because I've kind of made this last chunk all at once and it's a perhaps records these files is really large. Each each like five minute segment is like four gigs for some reason. It just perhaps makes the files really large. So I'm probably just running out of hard drive space, that's why it's kinda of lagging out on me. yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see, will they tell me my ranking? Because I'm curious. Presented by Capcom. Let's see, let's see what we got. C! Dang, I spent four hours in this game. That's a lot. That's a lot for a Resident Evil game. But I guess that's not bad, considering that I haven't played to this game in a really long time. So I guess in that respect it's not that bad. Actually I think this is the first time I've beaten the game since it came out in 1999 or 98 whenever this game came out. So eh, C ranking is not amazing but it could have been a lot worse. Not bad seeing as that was my first time playing through the game in 10 years. So thanks for watching you guys. Rate, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, so either Metal Gear Solid 4, or Metal Gear, I keep saying Metal Gear Solid 4, either next will be Metal Gear Solid 2, or Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And if you guys feel like leaving a comment letting me know which one you'd rather see, go ahead and do that, because you know, if, if more people want to see Metal Gear Solid 2, or more people want to see Ocarina of Time, I'll do that. It, it's it's kind of up in the air at this point, so just let me know. Thanks for watching, love you guys, see you later. Ah, one thing I did forget is at the end of each time you play through this game, you get a different epilogue. So this is Claire's, or this is Jill's epilogue. Uh, she set to join Chris Redfield, all she found was empty hideout. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she believed he was still alive. So yeah, she went and looked for Chris. Um, each time you play through the game, you get a different one. Uh, I'm obviously not going to play through the game seven times just so you can see the seven epilogues because I'm sure if you just search Resident Evil 3 epilogues on YouTube, you will be able to find all of them. Um, I actually don't think I've even seen all of them, so I'll probably do that right now <laughs> as soon as I finish recording this video. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see that. Didn't want you guys to miss anything. All right, see you guys.